Hello everybody, this is a quick guide to how to install the rebirth mod for 7 days to die. So first thing first, you want to make sure that you do have a discord account. If you do, go ahead and create one, it's totally free and simple to do. And this is the only way you're going to be able to download the rebirth mod from Ferris Ramsey's discord channel at this moment. So I'll go ahead and put his discord channel link down in the description below. But once you are in his Discord channel, you want to go to Info section, go to Download 1-1, and you can simply click on any of these links and download the mod. The mod is approximately 4.5 gigabytes, so make sure you do have room for that. Make sure your 7 days to die is version 1.1. Point one, and how to check that you simply want to launch your steam go to library search for seven days to die once you do find it right click properties go to betas and if you are not on version 1.1 stable you need to be on this for this mod to work if you're not on it, you can always opt to it. And then you should be able to download that version. And while you are downloading the mod, you want to find the location of the mod folders for your 7 days to die game. You can go to installed files, browse, and you want to make sure it's all in here. Once you do download and extract, it should look like this. If you already have mods installed in there already, it's best to clear them out since this mod is an overhaul. Example, if you don't want to delete all your mods, you can simply just rename the mods folder to mods.old and make a new mods folder. Okay, so once you do do it, have it downloaded, it should look like this, right? If you're on Windows, you want to extract it all and you can simply extract it all to your downloads and then copy all the files over but what i like to do is make sure once you're in this tab right here i like to click into the mods folder and then simply copy this whole directory right here make sure you do double click into the mods folder that way you have the entire directory all right once you do have that right click on the compress file extract all and this is where your destination where you can extract the files files will be extracted to this folder control V paste this all in there this is where your seven days mod folders are gonna be and you just hit extract I'm not gonna hit extract because I already have it in there once you have it you should have all these mods. Alright, once you have all the mods in this folder, you should be all set. Simply launch the game and start the game. You had luck with this quick guided tutorial on how to install Rebirth on 7 Days to Die game. If you have any issues, I can try to help, but your best bet with issues is starting a conversation in various Ramsey's Discord channel. But here are some of the settings. If you do want to play the scenario of Roar Vanilla, just keep it to none. But if you do want to play the campaign that various Ramsey offers, just choose the purge and there is ton of customizations you can do for your game so go ahead and read through them and see what they all do but there is a ton of options and I'm just gonna kinda scroll through them just so you guys can see what and how many options there are and there is a ton good luck out there and enjoy